Hey friends, Rebecca Austin here. Welcome to my channel on all things Kajabi, marketing, and building your online business. Now a common question that I see in the Kajabi forums and with my clients is how do we clone a pipeline? Pipelines, of course, if you're unfamiliar with the pipeline itself, is your sales funnel that we can build inside Kajabi. And all of the elements we're creating, such as your opt-in page, your email sequence, we wanna bring the, that traffic that starts off as traffic to your, your lead magnet or your offer to be able to capture that, bring them down to a sales page, build that relationship and then hopefully convert them into a lead or paying customer. Now, inside Kajabi, it's set up to where you take those elements like your forms and your pages and your email sequences and we map them out in an easy to follow pipeline to be able to then watch our analytics, see what's going on, do A-B split testing, look at areas that might need improvement and things like that. So the pipeline is a super powerful tool inside Kajabi to be able to help us analyze our marketing as well as craft effective marketing campaigns. So once you've created a campaign and so for example, you want to do an A-B split testing or you have different campaigns for different target audiences and you want to be able to clone what you've created already, currently there's not a quick button that you can press or an option that you can click on to be able to just clone the entire pipeline. And the reason for that is that every pipeline contains lots of different elements. So in order to clone that pipeline, we simply need to clone each element and then create our pipeline. It's very doable, it's just a couple extra steps to be able to have those elements cloned. Now the great thing about that is that depending on your reason for cloning the pipeline or your strategy behind cloning that pipeline, you may not have to clone every element. You can simply clone certain elements and then direct them to the original pages or sales pages, opt-in pages, checkout pages, things like that. So that's where it's actually just as well that we're not cloning the entire pipeline because there are cases where you may not want to clone the entire pipeline. You only want to clone the opt-in page, for example, to be able to capture where those leads are coming from, have different tags that go along with those leads, and then funnel them all to the rest of the original pipeline. So that being said, let's go into the specifics of how we duplicate the elements of the pipeline and then create our cloned pipeline. Let's take a look. So in order to clone a pipeline, first we go into our pipelines from our Kajabi menu to our, Kajabi, our pipeline dashboard. And we do that from the main menu by going to marketing and then pipelines or from our Kajabi assistant, we simply type in pipelines. Now in this case, I have a pipeline that I want to clone because this was a marketing campaign on my Kajabi mentorship program that I did in November of 2019. So I'm wanting to do another launch on this in December, but I'm changing a few elements, which is why I'm cloning the pipeline instead of using the original pipeline. So in order to clone this pipeline, the first thing we have to do is clone the elements inside that pipeline. So the way we do that is we go up to website and then pages. So there's several elements in here. We have our pages, we have our opt-in form, we have our email sequences. And so first we go to our pipeline pages and go to the Kajabi mentorship pipeline. Then I can go in here and I can clone each one of these pages. So if I want to clone the Kajabi mentorship opt-in, we simply do that step first. 
and sometimes it takes just a little bit of time for the system to make those changes and duplicate the page. Now of course the first thing we want to do though is we now have the page duplicated. We're going to go back to our landing pages now and you can see now where I have that page but it has a one after it. So we would want to go in here and edit our details so that we can change our title and then change our URL as far as the link that goes to this page. So I can simply go this to opt in uh, January for the January launch and then change this to something like that so that you at least have a, a, a unique URL but something that you want it to be. And then we click save and now we have the first element of our pipeline duplicated and then we go back and we do that for each one of the pages inside our pipeline and we go through and click on the pipeline pages, go to the second page, we go in here and we clone that one as well. And now we have the second page cloned. We're going to repeat this process for each page. So the next step then was go back to our pages. I'll change the title and URL for this page as well by editing the details and then change this and change our URL. And you get the idea. So you want to go through and do that for each one of the pages inside the pipeline itself. Now, if you want to have a custom form that goes along with that page, then we can go into marketing forms and find our form for the Kajabi mentorship. And we would, we can't clone the form, but we can create another form that's basically the same form. Um, set up whatever automations that we want to go along with that form. We can go into our email campaigns and we can duplicate the email campaign here by simply cloning that as well. Or if you want to send it to the same campaign, you don't have to change and clone the email sequence. You would only have to clone the email sequence and the form if you're wanting to have customized content that goes specifically for that particular campaign or pipeline. Okay, so now that we have our elements pretty much put together, now we can go back to our pipelines and we're going to create a new pipeline and then we're going to do it as a blank pipeline. We're going to name our pipeline and generate. Okay, so at this point we just have a blank pipeline and this is just a blank page which really doesn't do anything. We don't really want to customize this page. So first of all, we're just going to remove this page and we're going to add an existing landing page and click next. Then what we want to do is choose. We want our opt in January. It's the first page in the pipeline and then click save. And now you can see our first page is set up in the pipeline and any forms or tags or email sequences or automations or anything that we had on that will automatically pull in. And if you created custom forms or email sequences, then we simply go in and change the form or automations that are on this page to what we want them to be. Then the next thing is we want to add the next page in the pipeline. So we just go down here to add page to an existing landing page and click next and then select the next page that's in the pipeline which in this case is our thank you page and click save. And now we have the next page in the pipeline. And we just continue to go through each page that you have cloned that you want to be included in this pipeline or any other elements that you may have included as well that you want to have on this pipeline 
and that is how you set up your cloned pipeline. Then once the clone pipeline is set up, then all we have to do is go in and edit any elements that you want to edit. So for example, in this opt-in page, if we wanted to customize for a specific marketing or target audience, then we can go in and do so. And then everything is separate from our original pipeline. So that in a nutshell is all there is to cloning a pipeline. You just simply duplicate the elements that you need to duplicate and then create your new pipeline from there. So if you have questions about creating a pipeline or anything else that has to do with Kajabi, you're welcome to comment in the section below or visit my website at striveforsavvy.com where we have lots of really great resources to help you as you grow your online business. Now, if you are new to my channel, I welcome you to subscribe and then click that bell icon so that you can be notified when we have new videos because we're posting videos regularly, usually several times a week to be able to get you all kinds of great insights sites on Kajabi marketing and growing your online business. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested, we do have a free sales page Encore template featuring the brand new Encore theme.